smell of that chili makes me perspire. Alright. Hey, sis, tell me what you think. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> Spicy, What did you put in this? Well, I goosed it up a little for Judy tonight. This is gonna kill her. I hope so. Hey, everybody. Yeah. yeah. There you are. What's hey. up so long? Hey. Oh, sorry, we're late. Yeah. It's my fault. I had to dry my hair. Ah, uh, gee, you think at that altitude, the wind would do it. <laughs> you gonna start in on me already, Hayden? It was a joke, Judy. <laughs> this is a poker party. We tell jokes. Okay, well, it looks like when the wind was drying your hair, some of it blew off. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Howard, you pass out the chips. Don, get ready to deal! Okay! Yes! All right, yes! All right. <laughs> Judy! Get ready to play a man's game the way only men can play. You should buy it for $20 to start. Unless that's too rich for you, Watkins. No, that's a good warm-up. Warm-up? That's my fun money for the whole month. Oh, shut up. <laughs> By the way, Judy, I stopped in at your practice the other day. Your team looks very impressive this year. Well, thank you, Howard. You're doing a wonderful job. Hey, Howard, you want a ladder to kiss her butt? <laughs> Let's keep our minds on poker, huh? Jack's better to open. Everybody any in a court. Any. I'm in. Somebody's not in. Loser. It's to you, coach. Okay. Well, I'm in for a buck. I'm out. Loser. No, Anybody want any more jelly? No, thanks. My shirt is soaked through already. Here, get Judy and Dob or something. Uh, coach? Uh, just one there, Dobby. Do. Oh, well, uh, keep one and take four. Hold on to your ace there, Howie. He's a wizard. I can never fool him. <laughs> I'll take three. Oh, thanks, Lincoln. Yummy, isn't it? Well, frankly, Hayden, it's a little bland for my taste. You got any Tabasco sauce? You're going to put Tabasco sauce on the Fox's famous five-alarm chili? Well, she wants Tabasco sauce. Get her Tabasco sauce. Did we come here to play cards or to watch Charles Bronson eat chili? <laughs> I'm in for two bucks. I know. I'm out. Oh, what a bunch of weenies. <laughs> All right, it's just you and me, Watkins. Are you in or out? Was there a limit on how much you can raise? No, no limit. Where's two? It's two dollars. We made that rule so nobody would lose that much and the game stay friendly. Yeah, well, those are weenie rules, and we're not playing a weenie game tonight. This is the war between me and Watkins to see who the better poker player is. Okay. I'll see your two dollars, and I'll raise you five. Five dollar raise. Someone give me some smelling salt. <laughs> uh, I see your five. And I'll raise you 25. Ooh, Ooh. hey. That's a sport coat. <laughs> okay. I'll see your 25, and I'll raise you 25. Another 25? Judy, that's the biggest pot we've ever had. No, it is not. We've had bigger pots than that. When? When you weren't here. When wasn't I here? I don't know. You're barely here now. <laughs> And by the way, Watkins, you know, this bluff isn't working. I'm loving this. I see you're 25, and I raise you 100. A hundred dollars? That's a suit, two pair of pants. <laughs> this is getting out of hand, guys. A hundred dollars, Watkins. Hold them or fold them. Hold. Oh. Kings and tens. Three fours. Oh! Wow. Judy just won more in one pot. The coaches haven't won in that whole night. In a whole night that I was here. <laughs> you okay, Heaton? Well, that's fine. It's just one hand. That's all. It's a lousy $125. In a man's game, it doesn't mean anything. It's peanuts. Doesn't mean a thing. Where are you going? I'm going to go get my money socks so I can keep on playing. Deal! The best to you, Heaton. I know that. <laughs> See you 10. I raise you 20. Another $200 pot. God, I wish I had the guts to stay in on one of these. Oh. Flush, King I. <laughs> well, there aren't a lot of hands that'll beat that. Uh -huh. <laughs> but a full house will. Oh! Well, what do you say we call it a night, huh? 
call Trader T. No way! Heading is one o'clock in the morning. I still have laundry to do tonight. I'm wrong out. Hey, I need to go home. Nobody goes home! Nobody! <laughs> I'm play one more hand. Oh, what is one more hand gonna prove? It's gonna prove I'm a better poker player. Please, Hayden, you've lost a fortune tonight. And what's that much? You'll call eleven hundred dollars that much? That's your whole money stock. You know how much eleven hundred dollars will buy? Yeah, a suit with two hundred pairs of pants. Who cares? <laughs> Try to play another hand, or Lucky Street can't last forever. <laughs> You're outplayed, Hayden. Why don't you just admit that you lost? Hey, nobody loses until the game is over, and I don't say it's over until it's over, and it's not over until I've won. Well, and how are you going to win if we only play one more hand? We're going to play for everything you want, double or nothing. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm going home. Oh, sure, yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah, cut and run, cut and run. You're afraid to admit you had a lucky streak, just like you've been lucky your whole coaching career. Oh, you're pathetic, dear. Well, maybe, but at least I'm not lucky. Come on, Michael, let's go. Oh, yeah, go ahead, retreat, just like it did in the Civil War. Well, that rips it. <laughs> okay, hey, you want to play one more hand? We'll play one more hand. Good, double enough. Oh, no, 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 no. If we're going to put everything on the line for one hand, let's make it interesting. You don't think $1,100 is interesting? Oh, I call it nickels and dimes. But it's so many of them. <laughs> so what would make it interesting? Something that really means something to each of us. Like I saw my daddy bet his car once. It was a classic Morgan, and he loved that car, but he was willing to risk it all just to make it interesting. Of course, my daddy is a real gambler and a real man. <laughs> what are you saying? Are we got our cars? It's just a question of whether or not you really want to play a man's game. <laughs> you my job. All right, this has gone far enough. If nobody's going to do anything, then I will. As athletic director, I outrank both of you. I will not allow this nonsense to go any further. I forbid you to play this hand. Howard, shut up. Well, I did all I could. I'm going home. Hey, I hope you know what you did. Five car draw. I'll take two. Three. Okay, hey. Let's see him. Two pair. Ace and squeeze. <laughs> Well, I've got two threes, mm -hmm. Jack, ten, yeah. and another three. You lose, fuck boy. Michael, will you drive my car home so I can see how my new truck handles? Uh, Coach, if you need a ride tomorrow, let me know. <laughs> I thought I played that last hand real well. <laughs>